Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will discuss ultrasound appearances of pancreas. The pancreas is well appreciated in the transverse view. It is homogeneous and somewhat hyperechoic. Here is the liver, left lobe of liver. It is used as a window to scan the pancreas. And this curvilinear structure is the portal splenic confluence where the splenic vein joins the portal vein. And here is the superior mesenteric artery. And these are the aorta and the inferior vena cava. And we can notice the head of the pancreas over here and here is the body of the pancreas acute pancreatitis is the inflammation of the pancreas in this we will see a heterogeneous appearance of the pancreas and it will appear enlarged and there will be peripancreatic fluid some fluid outside the pancreas here you can see the pancreas is enlarged. If the diameter of the head exceeds 3 cm and if the diameter of the body exceeds 2.5 cm, it is a sign of pancreatitis. And it has an overall heterogeneous appearance. And peripancreatic fluid is also noted here in chronic pancreatitis there is calcification of the pancreas and it leads to these hyperechoic calcification which produce shadowing here is another image of chronic pancreatitis showing smaller calcifications and also showing some Comet tail artifacts. Chronic pancreatitis may lead to atrophy of pancreatic parenchyma. We do not see much of the parenchyma of the pancreas. We don't really see the body or the head as much as it should be. We also see a dilated pancreatic duct. The diameter of this pancreatic duct is definitely more than 3 millimeters. A pancreatic pseudocyst can occur after a pancreatic injury or after acute pancreatitis and the cyst will contain pancreatic enzymes and it will arise from the pancreas. Here you can see it is connected to the pancreas. So most of these appearances are pseudocysts. This pseudocyst is much larger in size and it is connected to the pancreas growing anteriorly to the pancreas. If the diameter of the pancreatic duct exceeds 3 millimeters it is a dilated pancreatic duct. Although this image is of a pseudocyst but we can see a normal pancreatic duct over here whereas over here it is very much dilated here is another image of a dilated pancreatic duct just remember when the diameter exceeds three millimeters it is dilated the pancreatic duct may also have stones they will appear as hyperechoic and will give posterior shadowing along with a dilated pancreatic duct. A cyst adenoma of the pancreas may have a unilocular or a multilocular appearance. These are the compartments inside the cyst. They can be either one or more than one. These compartments are called locules. They can be either one or more than one. 
A microcystic adenoma, as the name suggests, has small cystic components inside a hypoechoic mass. Here you can notice small cystic components inside a hypoechoic mass. Adenocarcinoma is a malignant lesion of the pancreas. Here it is occupying the head of the pancreas. It mostly has a hypoechoic appearance and can also lead to dilation of the pancreatic duct. Here is another image of adenocarcinoma, another lesion occupying the head of the pancreas. It is hypoechoic and also somewhat heterogeneous. Another mass occupying the head region of the pancreas. It is more heterogeneous, also somewhat hyperechoic. Another form of neoplastic lesions of the pancreas are insulinomas. They appear as hypoechoic masses. Over here, this mass resides in the body of the pancreas. Metastatic lesions in the pancreas will also give a hypoechoic appearance. Here is a metastatic lesion in the pancreas due to lung cancer. Pancreatic injury can lead to enlargement of the pancreas and also fluid collection that is communicating with the pancreas due to injury. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.